Hello, my name is Martin. You know me, 52 years old. If you guys don't know me, my name is Martin, 52 year old, civil engineer, 17 years old for retirement. Thought I was going to retire 2020, maybe make 30,000, 40,000 a year passive income off of my investments. COVID hit, went back to work, started a new company called 666 Undercover Billionaire Study Group. Well, I was watching the Undercover Billionaire and he said, you know what, I'm going to build a business model off of billionaires the millionaire millionaires just taking the opportunity to build a business in 90 days so i developed a six dollar program which is two episodes of season two sixty dollar program also i developed a six hundred dollar program we do all the undercover billionaire season two and then six thousand dollars we do undercover billionaire season one season two undercover billionaire comeback city we also do the what study what I call on closer closer survival list. This this is a Bible, man. You this book. Right now I'm kind of doing some consulting with dentists, showing them how to build their practices. Not by offering any more products. Just say all I want you to do each week. Ask ten people who you know need to buy a crown to buy a crown, and then just say use the closer survival fifty dollars, and all I have to do is for three thousand dollars, all they need to do is close three out of ten, three out of ten do their best even if they close two out of ten that's six thousand dollars times twelve that's seventy two thousand dollars extra of capital of, of profit a year so this book is worth selling it for 50 but it's really business, man what about the, you guys who sell washer and dryers man oh, I don't know what I want to do let's go to the Grand Cardone survival guide hey which one of these applies close to what I said delivery calls okay hey let me just check Hey, when, he said, Martin, I'm not sure if I want to talk to my wife, I want to talk to this. I hear you. Uh, when would you want to take delivery or have your new washer and dryer star? Right away or tomorrow morning at around 11. You don't even deal with their objectives. It's like saying, hey, my wife is fat. Are you going to divorce her? Of course not. So that's why we have the closure survival guide. First attack is, hey, I know what you're saying. And then they say, hey, if there aren't any objections or reason for not moving forward, with your new washer and dryer immediately. I would need you okay here and here. Go home and talk to your wife about it. She don't want to hear about that. Buy her, buy her fucking wife. If you want her to do your washer and dryer, buy her woman. How many of you guys work in the warehouse right now? You've been working next to Bob the robot. Rob, Bob, you the robot. You guys are like, oh, this has got to end. Closer survival guide. Closers. First thing you need to do, hey, you need to pray about it. And sir, I appreciate that I... I pray about every decision myself. How are you most comfortable praying? Let's pray together. I trust God won't mislead either of us. I'm willing to accept God's will for the both of us. Awesome closing book. How about for you guys, auto repair? Oh, we're going to talk to our insurance company. The insurance company don't going to pay shit, man. Pay for that car. Get them. Hey, you can wait on the insurance company and drive around a busted up car, or you can let my company give you a style of new car. What, what do you say, sir? purpose of closing is you got to get the money man it's all about that cash flow i, I got a car I, like for the budget clothes i went to target i was going in for a mouthwash um razors maybe and some hot and some hamburger buns end up walking out paying 105 dollars but the same thing i paid what you call it um Vons. I mean, I go in. I'm, the, I'm only gonna spend twenty or thirty dollars, and I'm spending like a hundred something. What was my budget? Whatever the budget was, it didn't matter because I'm gonna go home to mama and not have the right stuff. I rather go home to mama, pay a little bit more, and get the honey to go home to mama and get the pot to the back, back of the head. So today, I just want you to stress. I was gonna hit you up with some things you need to know about closing before I close. As you know. This is from Grant Cardone. Never attempted to close. This is for you guys who sell washing, dryers, auto repair. You're in Macy's. I'm not sure if I want to get this or get this one. Get them both. Okay. Never attempted to close. Pressure species are a bad thing. This is my best watch. This is my most watched commercial so far. I showed a developer how to save 100 k to $4.7 million by pressuring him to do some work. Now he's going to turn around. He's a developer and he's trying to develop land to sell houses. Now he's going to turn around and get in the ass of his develop his surveyor. He's paying three to four hundred dollars because if the guy wouldn't do a simple job, you know he's not doing a excellent, a better job on the on the subdividing the lots and stuff. Because the longer he takes the the um, 
subdivide the lots. This is the longer it takes for the contract to get the necessary permits to get the houses built. So in the end, he's losing four point seven six eight million because some new developer who's moving faster is going to sell the houses. But now he's going to say, man, that, 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 oh, I'm going to say the N-word. I say, hey, that N-word brother, Martin, made me get this fucking project taken care of. Now I'm going to turn around and kick the fuck out of this guy I'm working with. And the guy says, I'll say I'm going to do it on this, this, and then you, you turn around and say, Is, are you sure? Is there anything to prevent you from getting it done on that date? He's going to be more assertive. And he's going to learn how to pressure. And now he's going to make more money. That's why it's my best-selling video. It's like pressure, like me today, I was walking out with this lady, she's telling me she's going to do a, a contract to work on her house. Uh, what is your contractor going to do? I'll be asking, what the fuck, I, what kind of contractor you got coming to your house, man? I like this with people, I got somebody coming to my house. What the fuck does that mean, man? How long have you had your house, man? You like the lady I talked to when I was cold calling? I had my house for 50 years, embarrassing. IRS depreciates a house after 40 years. You keep a house for 50 years, you're fucking crazy, man. Unless you're a crack addict. Are you selling dope out the house to get you some cash? Get rid of that fucking day, man. That's why I say closing is number one. It's just get a job. I know some of you guys working. Robbie the Robot. Robbie Martin, you didn't park this correctly. Fuck you, Robbie the Robot. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Getting tired of the vaping. Getting tired of these guys living four to five to apartment. Talking about how they party and getting pussy and then go home and watch porn together. I'm just trying to help you, Mike. You're going to close. So when it comes to that job, man, even like me, I was trying to get the porn part-time job. Asking her, hey, what I need to do to be the top three candidate? Lost out on a porn job. Damn. Mama's going to be pissed, man. She said, bro, let's get that big deal, though. Get that discount on it. But I said, now I got to tell her, daddy, daddy didn't get the job. So daddy got to pay full price for that big electronic dick. Like, damn. So that's, I didn't close the deal. So that's my fault. I take full responsibility for that. But what I want to what I'm trying to convince you, me, if you're dead today, if you three thousand dollars for a crown, ask ten people. Three people say yes. That's nine thousand dollars times one hundred and eight thousand dollars a month. Not counting braces, not counting cleaning, not counting fillings, not counting. Hey, if I could show you some ways to do some advertising on the side, one hundred and eight thousand dollars. That's more than what some dentist is making a profit in a year or two years. They don't know how to sell. They be turning over to their secretaries and people to sell. It's like, no, you sell that fucking thing. You the damn dentist. You done went there and paid, went in all that debt and said, hey, I need you to take care of this shit, man. If you don't take care of it, my wife gonna get rid of my ass. You know what I'm saying? You're already probably fucking around because I'm here 10 to 12 hours a day. Shit, I don't mind that. But damn, at least when I go home, maybe I want the possibility or the probability of having sex. If I screw this up, man, I'm gonna go home. I'll be fucking myself. Hopefully, I got money for the place. If not, I'll be doing it in the car. So, brother, get the crown done, bro. Get the crown done, man. Rise up, brother. Rise up. Get that crown done. Show the man that you can take care of your teeth. Oh, me, 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 me. I want to get teeth, man. I want to get teeth. So I said, yes, sir. Get it done. So, what I want you guys to do now, go to my website. Sign up there. Your goal is to make money. How do you make money? By asking for the clothes. You just got to ask for the clothes, man. So here's your clothes for the day. Because this is the weekend. I know some of you guys are making money and stuff. Here's agreement clothes number two. I agree it's a lot of money. And expect you knew that before you got here. I need you okay here, here, and here. All it is is you're not even trying to deal with their objectives. All you're saying is, I know it's a lot of money. And you probably knew last week we go on the target as usual. All right, Martin, you know you ain't going to spend just no $20 or $30, bro. Drop that hundred. Drop the hundy, bro. And I end up dropping the hundred. So that's your clothes, man. Get the clothes to survival guy, dentist. I want you guys to be my primary sellers. Try it. As you know, my name's Mark Morris. Live in California. Send me $1,000. P.O. Box 540. San Bernardino, California, 9242. Let's get to, we're looking for 5,000 viewers, and I need 30 new subscribers, and let's sell 30 Grad Cardone Closer Survival Book. Let's get it done.